Hello, good evening, my dear Jay Warriors. This is your Captain Shreyas. And uh, some of you might be reading some conflicting reports in the media, the posts and the social media circles. And that might be causing a positive or negative impact on your minds or on your parents or the surrounding environment which is there, which might have an effect on your studies. So I thought I should come over here and give a complete clarity. <clears throat> That's why you will see that on the thumbnail also, on one side there are those negative reports and one side there are those positive reports. And let's see what exactly is true. Should we actually believe it? Should we be motivated, demotivated? Is it something scary? Let's understand. And I will give you a complete picture of it. So if you see some of the articles which were posted uh, probably many weeks back, IIT placement report says that lowest annual salary at IIT Bombay, lowest salary goes to 4 lakh. Top offers exceeded rupees 1 crore across one, uh, some IITs. See, average salary is something, lowest salary is something. I mean, the last salary that you get, low. Usually, it was some 6, 7, 8 lakhs in that range. But that lowest salary came down to 4 lakh rupees. Even that average salary, which was, you know, uh, between 20 to 28 lakh rupees, that had come down to you know, below 20 lakh rupees in the last placement season. And that was not just in IIT Bombay, in many, many other IITs. IIT placements, you would have seen many articles, lowest salaries received by students since 2019. Uh, the salaries which were between 20 to 28 uh, in the top IITs, now the lowest salaries all also have been revised. Okay, I can't read it because it's a premium article. But there were many such articles. IITs witnessed placement rate, minimum pay, 8,000 IITians were unemployed. But now, the new report, let's have a look at it. And I'll come to something what University of Berkeley professor also has said. IIT Bombay placement drive begins, and this is just, you know, yesterday's article. And it begins with 2.2 crore offered from a leading Dutch firm. The first round of offers have started and it is 2.2 CR and the best news came from IIT Madras. Some of you want to go to IIT Madras, student gets 4.3 crores job offer and there are many other big placements also. All those details have been given here. It includes many, many different uh, benefits and all of that. 4.3 crores. All the details have been given here. Then IIT Kanpur also gave a very good news saying, you know, 500 and almost 79 students got offers on just day one of the placement. And you know when this is happening? When in the United States of America, in the USA, a Berkeley, Berkeley is a Ivy League institute, guys. It's a top-notch college. Just like we have IITs, they have Ivy League. So it's a top-notch college. And that professor says a Berkeley computer scientist is raising alarm bells of the state of the labor market for the new graduates who are struggling to find work. And even in the top grade students, they are failing to find work post graduation. There is something called CGPA, like we have percentages and all of that. They have something of five point CGPA. So think of four CGPA like 90% or 85% like that. <coughs> Basically, they are the toppers. <clears throat> now, imagine even the toppers are failing to get jobs that do in computer science, that do in US. But in IITs, we are getting the jobs. That's a very good news. But then you will be like, sir, what are these news then? So let me give you a, a complete clarity. Number one, this placement season has just begun. Number one, there might be many students who will still be unemployed. Don't get confused between highest package, average package, and number of unemployed. They are completely different things. You might see IIT Madras got 4.3 crore job offer. That will not be all students. One, two, I, I don't know. It may be just one or two students. That's all. Number one. Okay? Not all students will get that. Because of that one student, the average placement will go up. And there will be few students who will get 1-2 crore placements. The average will go up. 
but let's say rest of the batch is still getting 20, 30, 15, 30, 20 lakh kind of placements, the average will be predominantly around that range only. Does not mean all of them are getting crores of package. That is a small number, but it is a decent number. It is not very few. In private colleges, what happens is one student or two students or less than 10 students will get, you know, very good package and they will advertise in such a way that, oh my God, you will feel, oh, everybody is getting that kind of package. But in IITs, that number is way higher. It's not very few. A decent, sizable chunk gets very good packages, 60 lakhs, 80 lakhs, 1 CR, 2 CR, 1.5, 90 lakhs. So many students get that. That's a sizable chunk. But you should also focus on what is the average or the median salary range because that's where most of the crowd will be. Also, you should focus on the lowest salary because that is a number which will tell you in the worst scenario, how much package will you get? And see, for IITs, it is between 4 lakhs, 6 lakhs, 8 lakhs, which is actually the average placement for many of the private institutes also. That's something which you should be really proud of if you are targeting for IIT. Just imagine the lowest salary of IITs, which used to be 6 to 8 lakhs, fine, it went to 4 lakhs, again, it, has, it might bounce back, who knows. It is almost like the average for many of the decent private colleges. So that should tell you something that when you study in an IIT, the worst thing which could happen to you is better than whatever can happen to you on an average in a private institute. Another thing, the unemployment rate which you will see in IIT, it's due to number of factors. Some students won't sit for placements. Some students might be opting for entrepreneurship some students genuinely do really bad. See, just because a student qualifies year advanced does not mean, oh, brilliant, they will study. No, some students become overconfident and this is a very common trend in IITs also, even in NITs and even in BITs. Many students chumma become overconfident, they get carried away for some by some distractions and they actually lose out on the placement. That happens because of overconfidence or for some distractions and some students also go for higher studies. So entrepreneurship, distractions, overconfidence, higher studies, all these are some of the reasons why many IITians also get unemployed. But if you are focused, you should not be in that zone. This letter by the UC uh, Berkeley professor is an eye opener. In fact, many professors from IIT also had written letters and posts saying that, see, don't concentrate on grades. Don't just concentrate on branch. Don't just concentrate on college. You might be from an IIT, but still you might be unemployed. You might be from a private college and still you might get the job because you have a skill. So, yes, college obviously matters. IIT tag obviously matters. That is priority number one. But your skills will matter when you get a job and how you do well in that particular job. So that is something you cannot overlook. And number three, do not be overconfident at any point of time. Oh, I have cleared this. Now life is chill. No, you have to still work hard because everybody is brilliant around you. If you don't work, you go behind. And what it tells you is that when you are surrounded by such brilliant minds, you automatically get motivated to study, work, develop skills, participate in hackathons, so many events, technical events, cultural fests, and you build a personality, you build an aura, you develop that skill set, no way a person will be able to reject you. So that is what an IITN stands for and that is what you should seek for and look forward to. I hope in next four years, you're going to write in 2025, after four years, in 2029 or maybe five years program, you pass out by 2030, I see in the newspaper one of us getting a four, five, maybe that time it might become even six crores or five crores, who knows. So that kind of a job. I hope that serves like a motivation for all of you and being an IIT in, in itself is a big, big achievement. Remember that. And also let me tell you, right now, the scenario in the world is very bad. Recession, mild recession is going on. So students in general are finding it very hard to find jobs. It is difficult, not just in India, but even in abroad, be it US, Canada, Europe, lot of companies are, 
you know, uh, firing people, laying off people. So in general, the situation is bad. It will take some time to improve. So don't get affected by the negative news. By the time you graduate, things would have been much, much better. Okay. So let it be a very positive news for all of you because the future is looking very bright. If you have the right mindset, skill set, and you have the right college degree, everything, it's in your hands you will definitely do well. I want to see you in the news and if you want to be seen in the news and you want to motivate yourself, quickly smash that like button right away right now. Yes, smash that like button right away right now, my dear warriors. And thank you so much. And do let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you for liking and sharing.